in the words of Baha'u'llah, that which is conducive to the regeneration of the world and the salvation of the peoples and kindreds of the earth hath been sent down from the heaven of the utterance of him who is the desire of the world. Give ye a hearing ear to the counsels of the pen of glory. Better is this for you than all that is on the earth. Unto this beareth witness my glorious and wondrous book. In accordance with the explicit text of the Kitab Ardas, Baha'u'llah hath made the center of the covenant the interpreter of his word. A covenant so firm and mighty that from the beginning of time until the present day no religious dispensation has produced its like. Consider that which we have revealed in our most holy book. When the ocean of my presence hath ebbed, and the book of my revelation is ended, turn your faces toward him whom God hath purposed, who hath branched from this ancient root. The object of this sacred verse is none other except the most mighty branch, Abdul Baha. Thus have we graciously revealed unto you our potent will, and I am verily the gracious, the all-powerful. There hath branched from the Sadratul Montaha the sacred and glorious being, this branch of holiness. Well is it with him that hath sought his shelter and abideth beneath his shadow. Verily, the limb of the law of God hath sprung forth from this root, which God hath firmly implanted in the ground of his will, and whose branch hath been so uplifted as to encompass the whole of creation. Magnified be he, therefore, for this sublime, this blessed, this mighty, this exalted handiwork. A word hath, as a token of our grace, gone forth from the most great tablet, a word which God hath adorned with the ornament of his own self, and made it sovereign over the earth and all that is therein, and a sign of his greatness and power among its people. Render thanks unto God, O people, for his appearance, for verily he is the most great favor unto you, the most perfect bounty upon you, and through him every moldering bone is quickened. Whoso turneth towards him hath turned towards God, and whoso turneth away from him hath turned away from my beauty, hath repudiated my proof, and transgressed against me. He is the trust of God amongst you, his charge within you, his manifestation unto you, and his appearance among his favored servants. O thou who art the apple of mine eye, my glory, the ocean of my loving kindness, the sun of my bounty, the heaven of my mercy rest upon thee. We pray God to illumine the world through thy knowledge and wisdom, to ordain for thee that which will gladden thine heart and impart consolation to thine eyes. We have made thee a shelter for all mankind, a shield unto all who are in heaven and on earth, a stronghold for whosoever hath believed in God, the incomparable, the all-knowing. God grant that through thee he may protect them, may enrich and sustain them, that he may inspire thee with that which shall be a wellspring of wealth unto all created things, an ocean of bounty unto all men, and the dayspring of mercy unto all peoples. Thou knowest, O my God, that I desire for him naught except that which thou didst desire, and have chosen him for no purpose save that which thou hadst intended for him. Render him victorious, therefore, through thy hosts of earth and heaven, Ordain, I beseech thee, by the ardor of my love for thee and my yearning to manifest thy cause, for him as well as for them that love him, that which thou hast destined for thy messengers and the trustees of thy revelation. Verily, thou art the Almighty, the All-Powerful. All the atoms of the earth have announced unto all created things 
that from behind the gate of the prison city there hath appeared and above its horizon there hath shone forth the orb of the beauty of the great, the most mighty branch of God, his ancient and immutable mystery. Blessed, doubly blessed, is the ground which his footsteps have trodden, the eye that has been cheered by the beauty of his countenance, the ear that has been honoured by hearkening to his call, the heart that has tasted the sweetness of his love, the breast that has dilated through his remembrance, the pen that hath voiced his praise, the scroll that hath borne the testimony of his writings. In the words of Abdu'l-Bahá, My name is Abdu'l-Bahá, my qualification is Abdu'l-Bahá, my reality is Abdu'l-Bahá, my praise is Abdu'l-Bahá, thraldom to the blessed perfection is my glorious and refulgent diadem, and servitude to all the human race, my perpetual religion. No name, no title, no mention, no commendation have I, nor will ever have, except Abdu'l-Bahá. This is my longing. This is my greatest yearning. This is my eternal life. This is my everlasting glory. <laughs> 